happy and you know it? No. Are you happy and you know it? Horses, huh? Yeah. When I was pregnant with Parker, I was excited to have my first child. When you pick out a name and you start shopping, you're adopting this, this child and came laughing and giggling off the plane. We started to notice that he wasn't hitting all of the developmental milestones. He wasn't walking until he was 19 months old. Developmentally, something looks different and we don't have any answers to it. When families come into the Feingold Center, they've often been to a variety of other places first. So what do you gotta do? We went to everybody. And these were great specialists, the top of their field. We are indebted to them, but they still weren't getting us any answers. We have to take a look at Our first goal really is to get them to feel like you, you're in the right place. We're going to work through this with you, we're a team, but every day you have access to me, you have access to the staff, we'll find an answer um, and help you through the process of it. We got a actual diagnosis of Ehlers-Danlos. While it was scary to actually get the diagnosis, at the same time it was one of the best days because I knew what we were actually dealing with and I knew what his outcome would be and I knew what we could expect from him. and where we would go with him. Everyone's different and they're all special in their own way and some kids they're born with something like mine and eventually you just have to like you know understand what it is and how to deal with things. <laughs> Our coordinated care model is I would say unique uh, in the in the medical industry. To have the coordinated care taken care of for you is huge when you have a child that has extra needs. When you sit on the, on the phone trying to make all these appointments and you're trying to coordinate all these appointments, to have all of that taken off of your plate is huge and it means that you can be a parent um, more hands-on. In addition to the Feingold Center for Children, we also uh, fund and oversee two other programs. One is called Mother to Baby that Dr. Feingold started basically right from the beginning in the early 80s and before the internet age and people called on a confidential line with questions about either pregnancy or a desire to get pregnant, what sort of environmental exposures um, were harmful to the baby. The fortunate thing about Mother to Baby, this organization is loaded with experts in their field. Our job is to give the public clear, concise answers to their questions. Because of the efforts of the Genesis Foundation, we are able to provide this service free of charge to the public. Another program we fund and oversee is called our Therapy in the Performing Arts Program, which is primarily but not exclusively for our patients. So following a surgery, John favored one side of his body. And we started intensive physical therapy to try to help him, you know, and, and occupational therapy to try to help him with his mobility. And then my wife um, said, let's try the hippotherapy, the horse therapy. And sure enough, almost instantly, as soon as we put John on the horse, he moved his head and he just set forward. You know, therapy may not be fun for kids, so they've found great opportunities for kids to do horseback riding, swimming, dance, music classes, all things that they don't even know they're getting therapy, and it's maximizing how they do developmentally. I know Parker, um, seeing her now, that she is full of energy, she loves people, she loves uh, making people happy. A whole combination of the Feingold Center and the Genesis Foundation who over the years have helped us learn to deal with this and have become a part of our family. Having a community like the Feingold Center and being supported by the Genesis Foundation brings you part of that community and really showcases everybody's strengths and successes. And I, I, with my whole heart, my family, I want to say thank you to you.